Di. Good morning. We are the Kings. Good morning. It's day seven of our adventure, yes. Uh, on which we are in a hurry all the time to somewhere and we kind of can't see anything really. <laughs> this is our hotel room. In, uh, I, I keep forgetting the Slovak names of cities where they are. The hotel. Sparta is it? Ja pa ga pete javno. Dosta jako. So we are in Ladov, here in, in Slovakia. It's near the Ukrainian border. And I just climbed up this wooden church bell tower. I hope nobody rings the bells downstairs with those ropes. It will be a real punishment for me getting up here. It's very beautiful and what I find personally fascinating is I think that this bell has been made in 1620. This is pretty old I guess. The other one is the same. And look at the staircase. This is the actual tower of the bell. I should take a picture of myself just just right here. And then we go. our journey with the bus. We made quite a few stops here and there to grasp the beautiful autumn colors. It was one of those happy carefree days that you never forget. We were stopping right in the middle of the fields, exploring what was all around us and even found ourselves burning happily so that we could take just one more shot before we had to continue again along the road. And so we soon were about to reach our next point of interest an old Greek Catholic church made completely out of wood opened in 1742. Along with seven other wooden churches of the Slovak part of the Carpathian mountain area, it has been included in the UNESCO World Heritage list. This place, situated just 15 kilometers away from the border with Poland and not more than 50 kilometers away from Ukraine, had a distinctive feeling to it, as if time was still.
we are here in the distant city of Lodomilov in Slovakia, very close to the Ukrainian border. Somehow I feel, I feel that the borders of countries, I actually don't really believe in borders anyway, but if we still need to have borders, borders are going like in a straight line and I believe they are villages on Hungarian, Ukrainian and Slovakian side which have rich history more related to the culture of a neighbor country but because the border is like a straight line usually villages and people and families maybe in time remain at the other side and after all it feels simply like it feels like we don't really need borders when it's true that we all have a common history we are human beings living on planet earth and we all want the same things happiness freedom love we need food and good sleep and a good partner besides us at least mostly all of us want the same thing across the world behind all borders so why have borders why create wars when we are one Stop for lunch, maybe. Right in this motor rest. I saw a nice pizza picture, so I thought we may want to stop here. Take a bottle. Take a bottle, Bega. Hey, you a bottle. We're trying to figure out if it works or not. As it turns out, there is a geocache right at the other side of the road where we rather randomly stopped and it seems like this is going to be the first geocache I'm going to find in the Slovak country. And we're going to search for it together. Aga? To kim a geocache? Gotov li se da go namerim? Še nije prvi cache v Slovakia. But the hint is a little bit weird. It says Cerešna, Plotik, Drotik. And I have no idea what this means. Maybe I can somehow call her over and we can look for it together. My first Slovakian Jew cash. Dobre, the pot. Ah, tvoj je? Da, veš da vam kamer što duje. Pa mi, da. Kako je jazno sam mislim? Snimam, da, 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 snimam video. Davaj da je kot nekaj nis prsnaj. Kotika so se kravište. Ja da im kvojim ob neja? Ni mali smo okšiti, daj na mene, ko ne sta. Daj. Daj. Drago mi? Ej, kako je drago? Ejha! Opa, Leon. Jako super srašni čoveči, je lenči. Možda si zajem kvot iskam, ne samo treba da ostavim nešto in nije. Znaš, če ostaja bolgarska moneta. Iskaj mi da se zajem lenčko.
this wooden church is located in Mirolia in Slovakia, very close to the Ukrainian and Hungarian border. Look, it's very beautiful. And we continue to the next place. Let's go. We were headed towards Kosice, but as we continued on our journey, an unusual location made us stop to the side of the road. An amazingly picturesque old church located right next to a tranquil lake is just something you cannot miss to admire, especially with the autumn colors all around, the sun slowly setting behind the horizon and the possibility to see it all from up above. It's gonna be awesome thing. We have to be in a hurry, so just we have to show. Saris? Yeah, we got uh, Saris beer. It's interesting, most beers were like 10%. Okay. Usually they're like 4%. 10%. Okay, yes, it's, it's, no, it's not brown, no, it's not dark, and it's still 10%. Okay. And we also got, uh, I cannot say it, or. Kestini? I don't know. Kestini. It's the Bulgarian word for, for this. Saka. Saka. Wait. Peeled roasted chestnuts. Oh. Chestnuts, okay. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's the fun bus. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> The things are in Košice. This, this thing is uh, a little bit sick maybe, hopefully not really. And we're going past this amazing cathedral right there. We hope to see it tomorrow. Hopefully if this thing isn't sick, we will go there. But we're looking for a restaurant, yes, we found it on Four Square. We almost succeeded in telling the others that we should actually go there. And now I need to stop filming and, and start looking at the map again. So let's do that. Look at this tower. Hmm, it smells like shisha. Mm -hmm. I, I would smoke like right now. I mean, da. Nice. We sat down in a local restaurant close to the cathedral, which was not exactly serving local Slovakian food, but more like a little bit modern in Europe, I would say. While we were dining, we went online and found that there were very interesting singing fountains very close to where we were dining. So once we figured this out, we ran towards them to catch the show which was just about to start. 